Hey baddies, it's your girl Bevy, and this is Hair Scripts. We talk about the science of hair loss, hair growth, and then I sprinkle in a whole bunch of other stuff because why? Like, there's a lot of other things to talk about. No, I'm not sponsored. Anyway, we're gonna jump right into the video. I'm a little late because for me, I don't really do curly all year round. I'm in New York, so the climate here is completely schizo. And so all that to say, like, I usually try to keep curly for like the warmer, humid, you know, I wouldn't even say hotter months. We don't really get hot, but you know, we get a like a few, whatever. Anyway, and then the rest is pretty much cold air, right? So this is the Northeast. All that to say, I'm a little late over here because it's post Labor Day and we're going into sweat weather. And I usually like to wear my hair straight around this time. But I still got some curly left in me. Okay, one, my links are still in. But two, I still got curly left in me because it's still hot and humid and muggy outside, right? So we can't really wear our hair straight. So anyway, I recently discovered, discovered, <laughs> Christopher Columbus, um, some new products that I, like not even new, they're new to me, but I love these products for my curly hair for my curly hair and I think someone told me to do like a regimen like a curly hair regimen whatever I didn't shoot the video I should have sh shot the video for like the b-roll of what I was doing but y'all know how to put products in your hair come on stop it like so I'm just gonna tell you the products that I've been like hearting like loving like I've been trying a lot of different things but absolutely loving these products for my hair okay so without further ado let's jump into the video <laughs> Okay, first one, like styling product for curly hair. Like there's a lot of goats out there. I'm not gonna even hold you, but this, this one right here, this little doohickey, Mark Anthony has been blowing my mind, okay? Not to be confused with that Mark Anthony, J Lo's ex-husband Mark, Mark Anthony, no, okay? This is the brand, but I'm gonna tell, I mean, somebody tell me, is it Mark Anthony? Is he like, I'm saying somebody tell me, please tell me, is this his brand? Like, you know, he just threw some celebrity money on it and is doing a thing. Anyway, this is Mark Anthony, the brand, the hair care brand. And I'm gonna tell you right now, like they have been blowing my mind, like blowing my mind with their products. Number one, this is like drugstore price with like Sephora, like dermatological, like Ulta, like therapeutic quality. Right, I have not found recently a better bang for my buck. Like. If you really are trying to like save in certain areas and splurge where it matters, like bond repair, that's where I would splurge. This is a good freaking product, okay? This is the Strictly Curls, Mark Anthony Strictly Curls Curl Envy Cream. Controls frizz, softens and defines coarse curls, and it has avocado oil and shea butter and a whole bunch of other ingredients. Now, this right here is not an in-depth what the F. For those of you who know my channel, who are goats to my channel, okay, who are like, day ones or day twos because I started that what the F thing like in my second coming. But like I really break down the ingredients. I go in like I talk about the ingredients that don't nobody know what they mean. You know like what is this? But this is not that type of, this is not like a, a Mark Anthony Strictly Curls product review. This is just me telling you I love this product. What it does for me is what it says it's going to do. Like it, this is a super, super curl definer. For a minute I was thinking that my curls were just really popping like that until I didn't use this and I used something else. I think I used like a, a foam. I used like a foam and then I used like some other curl products. I'm trying to think of the names of like the other stuff that I was using. And I was just like, really? Like what's going on? Like I'm not feeling this. Like my hair is not giving. So I'm gonna be honest with you, the Mark Anthony Strictly Curls Curl Envy Cream, it functions almost as a, as a curl activator from back in the day. Let your soul glow, but it's not. Like it's not activating a curl. It just almost looks like it's activating curls. Like if you thought that your cur your hair can't curl, this is gonna prove you otherwise. This is gonna say, listen, chick, <laughs> we can curl. You can curl. Let me just show you. You just need a little love. You just need a little nourishment. You know, you know how they say, like, you know, you just need somebody to love you right. This just needs to love your curls right. It loves your curls right. Look, I just use it after like I wash my hair. Like, how do you use it? Most people know how to use it. You curl, you curl your hair. You use the LCO, LOC method, or whatever method you use when you use a curl cream, that's a curl cream that I go for. 
Hey baddies, it's your girl Bevy and I'm interrupting you really quickly because I have to ask this very important question. Why am I not at 100k subscribers yet? Let's keep it a buck. I'm giving you real content. I'm dropping game for free and I have loads of comments, okay? Loads of comments from my baddies saying that my content has helped them on their path to hair regrowth okay effective hair regrowth so please okay help a sister out start liking okay liking these videos to help me in the algorithm subscribe to this channel share this content with your friends that may or may not be honest about whether or not they need my help okay and most importantly i'm dropping a hair growth serum very very soon please click the link down in the description box okay and leave your information so that you can be the first to know i'm about to turn the hair loss treatment okay space upside down on its head because the gatekeepers don't look like me and I'm about to fix that, okay? I'm looking out for your interests. I'm really helping you because I really care. This is my mission and I need your support. So that's all I had to say, okay? Continue on. So I told you, right here, scale of one to 10, honey, this is a 10, okay? She's a 10. Don't leave anywhere without this. This right here, bro, your curls will last like three, four, five days. Let's keep going, okay? Now, this ain't in no particular order. I just gotta go ahead. Now, I love, look at it, it's empty. Again, remember I said new products? They're not new products. Some of them are new to me, and I just discovered them. Christopher Columbus, right? But they've been here. I love the Camille Rose. Camille Rose, I like her. She's that girl. The Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk. This doohickey right here, honey. I love this. I love this. So this right here is basically, it's kind of like a leave-in conditioner. It tells you how to enjoy it. It has a leave-in conditioner. Upon washing and cleansing hair, you use it as a leave-in conditioner. Apply it evenly from root to tip. May also be used to refresh styles on dry hair. That's why I use this. So this is not my leave-in conditioner when I style my hair. Like fresh out the shower. I'm sorry like this is giving a little side chick for me only because I don't use her fresh out the shower This is not my first go-to leave-in conditioner But when my hair is dry, you know after the third fourth day of those curls looking a little they looking a little thirsty This is my go-to. I'm telling you right now Okay, now I'm gonna pair her up with something else that I do because I don't like to constantly wet my hair There is something called hydro fatigue when you're constantly wetting your hair and you're constantly expanding the cuticle of your hair it can cause damage okay especially when you wet the hair dry and, it, and you just let it air dry there's studies that show that that really can cause a lot of breakage frizz and brittleness to your hair to the hair shaft it's just not good for you so I try my best to avoid wetting my hair for an extended amount of days right I should have brought another product down here that I, I like to use when it's time to refresh my hair be in between washes especially curls on a really really hot day which is a co-wash that I I use by the same company but I'm gonna go there in a minute I'm gonna go there give me a second but the Camille Rose right here my hair is like it's thirsty but it's not like I mean like it don't look like carpet yet we're not there yet we're almost dehydrated we're just thirsty when we're just thirsty when the curls are just thirsty they're not dehydrated yet I use this right day two three depending on what I'm using like if I'm using this day three but you know depending on what I'm using if you need to do a second third day and your curls are a little thirsty I just apply this straight on dry hair and the way it won, the way it smells. I know there's some goats that in, on this channel that been using this moisture milk for a long time. The way this rice milk and macadamia oil, the smell of the vanilla and the notes. I mean, the way this smells, y'all, sometimes you don't even need perfume, okay? You, are, you smell so edible with this on, okay? But the way this smells and then the way, the minute I put it on that thirsty hair, it quenches my curls thirst. Y'all, I'm telling you right Right now, this, I'm sorry, like this is a go-to for me. She will forever be in my house. She's a staple. I get the travel size. She goes everywhere with me, okay? I love her. So not to play her like she's a side piece, but like sometimes, you know. Now when my hair is dehydrated, all right? Now, first of all, you trifling if you let it get that way, but I'm trifling at times. We all are. Let's just keep it a buck, okay? Sometimes life just happens. Life is, you lifing and you get tired. You know what I'm saying? Your hair is in a bun, it's up in a ponytail, or it's not even in either one. 
on and sometimes you don't sleep with your silk bonnet on, okay? Don't come for me, lest I send for you. But this is what I do, okay? When my hair is dehydrated and I don't wanna wet it with water, this, as I am, restore and repair Jamaican black castor oil water with Jamaican black castor oil, vitamin C and vitamin E. I don't know what kind of crack they put in this, but I've tried curl refreshers. This is a curl refresher. I've tried, or texture refresher, right? I've tried curl refreshers from Bumble and Bumble. Or is it Bumble and Bumble or Bumble? I don't remember. I, there's a Bumble from RC and Co or something. Listen, I've tried curl refreshers from a lot of different brands. I've even tried Miracle 10. Eh, I don't like it. I've tried a lot, and, and Miracle 10 is not a curl refresher per se. It's a leave-in conditioner, but still, right? I've tried a lot of curl refreshers. I'm telling you right now, none like this. I've tried curl refreshers that are expensive, that comes in little small bottles that cost $30 out of Ulta or Sephora. Right now, off the top of my head, because once I used them once and I hated them, they go right in the, like, they just stay somewhere around the house. I don't even know where they at. So the, the name's off the top of my head. But this one, I went away from it and I keep coming back. This one right here, this is a go-to. This travels with me. This go everywhere with me. When it's time to refresh these, to de rehydrate these curls, Girls, refresh these curls. This is the girl. This one is it, okay? This one is it. And when I wanna add a little extra razzle-dazzle, I do this first and then I add this. These two is all I need. I don't go ahead and put in another gel and another layer on top of layer of product, of, of a styling product, but I refresh with this and I do this, these two. It's like I, I jumped in the shower and washed my hair all over again and sometimes better because sometimes when you wet your hair and then you wash, Shit. You know ladies when I'm talking about like baddies, everybody who, who curl their hair, you know what I'm saying? I'm no discrimination. It's nothing like that first day, sometimes second day hair where it's poofy, it's fresh. It's, but then it's like, if you wet it again, then it's kind of like limp, it's kind of weird a little bit. And then it has that weird wetness and then you can see through it sometimes and it's like, it don't look as full and abundant and you kind of mad cause you didn't want first day hair, but you didn't want third day hair. You wanted that perfect second day and you couldn't get it. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. And it's like, like if you wet it completely, you're not gonna get that. But if you don't wet it enough, you it's just, it's hard. You always get it right with this combination. You always get it right, like I promise you. Cause by the time when you first put this in, you're like, oh, this is good. And then you put this in, you're like, that's enough. But when it dries back up, y'all, sometimes it looks better than it did after the first day wash. When sometimes if you, depending on the products you use, if you don't use the right products, that first day wash here don't really be looking all that, that all that jazzed up. You gotta wait till you pineapple it and then the next day you let it down and it's all it's all fruit like nice and poofy like i mean when i use this like i get that that hair the first day this is first day for me y'all okay but i'm telling y'all right now like these two okay to rehydrate those curls this is when your hair is thirsty you good with just this alone when you're getting dehydrated this and this or this alone depending on how you want your hair to look you just these two right here, okay? You can't go wrong. I try to insert pictures of the cameras not picking up because I'm on my phone today. All right, so again, not in no particular order. Now, I said the side chick was the Curl Love Moisture Mix. This is Wifey over here. This is Wifey. Wifey is this one, the Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner. Now, I already hear some of y'all, oh, y'all, you talk about hair health and all this stuff, but you're using all these products with chemicals. And keep telling y'all there's chemicals and everything. Go ahead and don't take that up with me. Take that up with God and the periodic table, okay? Don't be mad at me because at the end of the day, everything has chemicals, certain silicones, certain alcohols, certain fatty acids are perfect for your hair for shielding protecting sealing and for me like let me tell you something i don't do clean those clean um styling products okay one they don't do nothing for me a lot of them don't have slip when i'm i need it so i'm ripping my hair out and they're the bane of my existence because a lot of them are just marketing ploys they only need a few certain percentage to be considered all natural and clean and they still have preservatives and other stupidness in them so that they can actually like be on a shelf like they're not being made fresh and on demand each time so there's still preservatives and chemicals in them. They just need to be a percentage or a certain ratio of chemical to, to natural product for it to be great. And I like chemicals that have therapeutic benefits and medicinal benefits, meaning that they they function to do what they set out to do. As long as they're not harsh chemicals that's damaging to my hair, that's damaging to my follicles, to my scalp, to my cells, to my cuticles, we're good over here. As long as they are free of the six main things like the phthalates and 
and the, the parabens and the sulfates and, and the other the other ones, we're good. You know what I'm saying? And the formaldehydes, as long as it's free of all that crap, we're good. But that clean stuff, I, I tried to get on that in the beginning because I was trying to do that. And I was always looking crazy. My curls was never popping. I was always upset because my hair was just looking frizzy all the time. Like, it wasn't giving. And I was paying extra money for something that is supposed to seem like it, I got it straight out the refrigerator. For that, I might as well just mix some eggs and avocados and bananas and make it just be that. Then to pay like $25, $30 for something that it's a it's it's a whole marketing thing. And honestly, I'm not with it no more. There's certain things that just when it comes to like scalp health, I'm always gonna scalp health, I'm always gonna use chemical actives like skincare that is going to promote cell turnover, stimulate hair growth, blood flow, oxygenation. I understand the science and pharmacology of products. So I understand the science of good hair health starts with your scalp and your follicles. So I'm gonna always, when it comes to scalp health on this channel, we don't play about scalp health. We're gonna use the best, the top tier, the best of the best. But when it comes to styling my hair and I wanna look like something, I wanna be cute, I'm trying to want a date, I'm single, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be out here with my hair like this, like, you know what I'm saying? Like the slip don't slip and the frizz is frizzing and it won't tame my hair in this hot summer heat and humidity and I'm out here looking crazy because it's supposed to be all natural and it's not and I'm paying $35 for this. And because it don't have the chemicals that's protecting my hair and shielding my hair from chemical stressors, from hardeners, from waters, from all kinds of things, my hair is breaking. It's a whole marketing. Anyway, I had to, sorry, for that tirade but I just kind of felt like I heard people saying like she's using all these products with all these chemicals and anyway so the mixed chicks I really love the mixed chicks leave-in conditioner this I've tried so many leave-in conditioners y'all the way the mixed chicks it's like the this mixed chicks leave-in conditioner is almost like a styler all by it's like if I thought I was that cute and I just want to throw in this leave-in conditioner and do nothing else I almost could but I can't right because let's be honest like you know my hair ain't I ain't doing all of that. But the way these people ain't sponsoring nothing. But I ain't gonna fuzz it out or will I? But the way this like curls my hair, the way this preps my hair for the rest of the products, the way this commingles well, the way this just plays well in the sandbox with anything that I've tried so many variations, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. I've been through it. But I tried so many variations of leave-in conditioners to curl creams to gels to foams and then I do this and like you know like back in the day the old math problems you got three color socks or five color socks how many combinations can you get that's me like I've tried every combination every vehicle every type of product curl cream souffle I mean the names that they come up with smoothie you know milkshake whatever y'all want to call it you know what I'm saying I done tried everything with different leave-in conditioners and what -da 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 -da. this leave-in conditioner right here plays well in the sandbox with every and anybody I don't care what kind of curl cream gel foam rinse whatever I want to wear I don't care what the base is I don't even care what treatment I did before treating my putting my hair I don't care if I put in a leave-in conditioner which I always do I put in a therapeutic leave-in conditioner with medicinal benefits before I put in like the styling one which is this one I don't care what I do what combination this always plays well in the sandbox like even if I mess up with what I do before how I wash my hair and the products that I use before and I'm like it's clipped it's over for me I gotta go and rewash my hair I put this in and I'm like you know what I think it's gonna be a good day I might be able to turn this around this is the one, her, okay? Mixed Chicks, I, I don't know how it's looking, y'all. I'm on my phone because my camera's out of commission right now, but the Mixed Chicks leave-in conditioner, it says it's for everybody. Whether you're black, white, Latin, Asian, Mediterranean, glorious combination, lightweight product locks moisture into curls, and that's the truth, it's lightweight. I've used leave-in conditioners that are so thin Thick. Like there's no room for me to put anything else because my hair is already limp and heavy. This is lightweight, but it's still a cream. It's like, I love it. I've tried everything. It's always gonna be mixed chicks for me. Like as my styling leave-in conditioner. Like I said, if you watch other videos, I use other leave-in conditioners that have therapeutic benefits like to bond repair, to strengthen, to this, to that. And I use those first before my, my styling one. But this one, this is it. Like this is it. So mixed chicks 
sleeve and conditioner. They're a goat. They've been around a long time. But one day I picked them up because I was trying different things and I just fell in love and I married her. And that's it. Nobody could tell me nothing else. Nothing different. All right. Next. Now, before I was using the Mark Anthony that got promoted, okay, I was with Miss Jessie's. And I like Miss Jessie's because it does what it says it's going to do. I know there's some controversy behind some of the ingredients, etc. I don't have a problem with any of the ingredients in the Miss Jessie's, okay? It's hair scripts approved because bottom line, there's no harsh chemicals in these and they're free of the other stuff that we don't want. But for the most part, they do what they say they're gonna do. They curl, right? Now, I also like the, they have different ones like the pillow soft curls and the jelly curls. They have the other ones and I've tried them. They're okay. Like, you know, like when I use the pillow soft and the jelly, my hair is a little more fluffier than I would like. So if I'm going for that big fluffy look, those are good, but my staples are the multicultural curls and the multicultural clear, which is the gel. So this is the cream and this is the gel. So I was using these prior to the Mark Anthony. And since I've gotten the Mark Anthony, y'all, I haven't really used these this much, but I still love them. Like, I, like this one is almost empty, right? So my process is when I'm in more like, when I'm like in Arizona or like in dry climates like that, your girl is going to wear a gel, right? Mostly leave-in and a gel. That's mostly what it's going to be. When I'm in more like humid type of stuff going on, I wear like the cream, but sometimes depending on how the weather is, it kind of just depends. Like it depends. I'll do the cream and lock in with the gel. I know it seems like it's weird or a lot, but it's not. Like I'll do the cream. The cream is what I'm styling with. And then I'll just do one coat of gel. So I'm not going crazy with the gel on top of the cream. It's just to kind of lock it all in. Like it's funny because I'm locking in with a gel. But the bottom line is it depends on the climate. It depends on the look that I'm going for where I'll go for a gel versus a cream, right? I think when I want to look more slick back and more Puerto Rican, how they say Puerto Rican, I'm usually doing gel. When I want to go big and curly and I really want to look like Shaka Khan, Shaka 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 Khan, I'm going cream. And when it's just the weather, just I need to really tame my hair because it's super hot. It's giving Florida and Disney World. I'm usually going to do the cream and then I'm going to do the gel, lock it in because I know is a lot that's gonna be going on and my hair may not be able to, to tolerate. But when I'm going big and Shaka Khan, I'm going curl, cream, and when I'm going cream, excuse me, and when I wanna go more slick back, more slick Rick, more, you know what I'm saying, Paul Rican, I'm, I'm going gel. So that's usually how I do it. So I go back and forth, but usually it's the multicultural. I go back and forth between these two. These two are amazing, love them. Like I do. Mark Anthony has just been the girl right now for cream for me. Like I said, I got Mark Anthony in right now and I'm I'm loving it. Okay. Now I don't have no edge control or nothing to tame my little fluffiness, but this is like I feel like I woke up like this. You know what I'm saying? So another two, and I'm bringing them two by two now because you know they're kind of the same, but they're kind of not. Is oh no, they're not the same. These are two different brands. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. I just found out just now. I was today years old. So I just started the Miel. Honey and ginger styling gel. Anyway, I was picking something up on the fly. I was like, let me pick this up. It looks weird because, I mean, look at this. This doesn't give gel. You know what I'm saying? This doesn't give gel how gels give gel. Like, we all know gels have the little bubbles in them and stuff. It don't look like that. So I'm like, and then I said, honey and ginger. What is that going to smell like? And then I tried it and I was pleasantly surprised, but more surprised to the point where this became, a, I'm like, nah, this is a legit staple now because the thing with this one is it's not thick. I love the texture because is very like creamy and it's very creamy very silky right it feels like it's not gonna do a thing like you're looking at it like really what you gonna do what what are you gonna do and when I tell you it slicks I mean of course my hair is not wet you bet you get the best results when you wet your hair and stuff like that but it is so strong but it's not that nasty thick clunky old school gel I promise you my hair is not crunchy with this it it does what it needs to do like this gel is it and it don't look like it now don't get me wrong it's not my most favorite smelling it legit smells like ginger like if you don't like that ginger smell you're not gonna like it because it legit smells like ginger but for me you know i'm caribbean i'm latina you know i'm afro latina i don't mind the ginger smell you know what i'm saying it don't bother me but if you're not into the ginger smell it's a very strong potent fresh ginger smell but aside from that and aside from how it looks it doesn't look like a gel bro this gel is like not strong enough 
enough to be a gel control or a glaze, but it's strong and it does not give you the dry, clunky, flaky, nasty gel feel that gels give you. It is definitely a staple. I, w I went away and I wore this and this combined, I was just looking like, I can't even define it. Like I can't even describe it because it definitely was defined, honey. But this gel really gave me life. It is beautiful. Like it, I, I'm telling you, like I've tried so many gels and I'm, I was very surprised with this. Like I said, this has been a go-to for me. As you can see, it's super empty. And I'm remiss to even say that this one works better. Like it is very strong, but it don't feel like it. It's very lightweight. It's very like, yo, like this gel threw me a loop. It threw me for a loop. Like I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to think of another gel that I use that I'm like, but it's not, it does it's not an old school gel that's like very thick. And like, if it does the job, it does. But like, you're a little aggravated because you got to go through that weird process for it to dry up and then it looks good not this gel even if you don't diffuse like I do I diffuse because I don't want to damage my hair from hydro fatigue but even if you don't diffuse if you're just like I'm just gonna wash and go I don't care what you say Beverly no problem but you know how some gels you wash and go you put the gel in and it does this weird drying thing during the drying process and you gotta wait for it to fully dry and then you can fluff it out and then it looks better and then sometimes it's flaky or depending on the product this is a gel that it goes on the way it leaves your hair when it first goes on and as it's drying it just gets prettier and prettier and prettier as it dries y'all this one i don't care trust me like i don't know how to do it my i'm just gonna stick a picture whatever 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 this my yell honey and ginger styling gel for enhanced curl definition and moisture retaining this is exactly what it does and because of the honey it's a humectant so it's a gel but it's drawing in all the moisture from the atmosphere like like your hair just looks gorgeous with that gel. That gel is everything. I'm not even gonna lie. Like if you just do a leave-in conditioner, cause I always want a leave-in conditioner as a base and then that gel, you're good. You don't need anything else. Like I promise you that gel is beautiful beautiful like I, I'm sorry like I was shocked I picked it up because I just was running out of options and I was tired and I needed something and it was the best choice I ever made now this one right here this is the Camille Rose hold on I can't get the because my light all of that Camille Rose curl maker the marshmallow and agave leaf extract sweet defining jelly for enriched smoothing marshmallow and agave with a rich smoother blah, blah, blah. this is what a gel looks like right it looks like a gel I can't really show you it looks like a gel but it doesn't act like a gel it's weird now I'm not gonna lie this was my 2022 curly hair look and I wore this all 2022 and it's beautiful and I still love it that's why it's full because I got another bottle but this gives me more puffy afro-y kind of hair but with a lot of curl definition so it's not like just puffy it's puffy curls like it's so beautiful like if you just want to be very flirty you just want to stick a little flower in your hair like a little daffodil or whatever a lilac or calla lily and you want to just be pretty and just have that little thing and you just want a fluffy sundress that you could turn around in this is that look okay this is kind of like this is like a cream or a smoothie and a, a gel that got married and had a baby this is what this is like it's almost like it, it gives you big hair like a cream right but it also gives you definition like a gel so it tames the big hair to where it's not too big but it's not gel down so it's not slick back it's very pretty and your hair is very fluffy and soft with this. Like I said, this was my 2022 summer look. I don't use it as much because I've fallen in love with the Mark Anthony hands down with this Myel Ginger and of course my Miss Jessie's. There's so many for me to choose from but this by itself with a leave-in conditioner is all you need if you just want to have pretty fluffy, pillowy, soft curls with definition. I'm telling you, if that's the look you're going for, this is the one. And it's so pretty. Like, I promise you, I've tried so many products and I have yet to meet a product that gives me that pillowy, soft curl with definition. There are other brands that promise to give you pillow curls, but they're like too big, too fluffy. It's like, I feel like Goldilocks, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't get the right curl definition. But with this one, it gives me the absolute perfect curl definition to fluff ra ratio. Curl definition to fluff ratio is perfect, it's beautiful when you wanna have that look. And I just love it. it it's, it's, it's a staple in my in my arsenal, it's a staple in my toolbox. She ain't going nowhere. And then lastly, which is not really a styling product, but I'm gonna mention it, honorable mention, is the Olaplex number six, okay? I'm gonna put the picture up there. Leave-in conditioner because 
because for those of you who know me in this channel, I believe in using products that have therapeutic benefits for strengthening your hair, repairing your hair, building, whatever it's gonna do that's gonna give you hair care benefits. And I use this leave-in conditioner for the hair care benefit and then of course my mixed chicks. But what I wanna say about this is believe it or not, because of the disulfide bond repair and the patented technology in this, it really makes my hair super curly. It's not for styling, but it does make my hair super, super curly because it's like improving the natural bonds and like body of my hair. So it just, when I put this on, it just, it just naturally like, it's so pretty. I love it because it's repairing my hair underneath all the styling stuff. So that's an honorable mention. Again, y'all, I have enough stuff to mix and match from just what I showed you to get the looks that I want. If I want Shaka Khan, I could get Shaka Khan. If I want pillow soft curls, I could get that. If I want slick back, slick Rick. If I want wet all day long, if I want gel down, if I want, if I want to look like a Puerto Rican, Maria Maria. I got it all. Like every curly look that I want, I I have it all within this bunch and I mix and match them to get the perfect foam. I was using the Verb, the V-E-R-B foam for a little while. And at first it was beautiful. It was giving me like long curl hair definition, like not fluffy and big, but like curls that like lay. But then after a while, I don't know, like it just wasn't giving anymore. I don't know. I'm gonna give it a try again. But for those of you who have a good foam that you use, that you recommend, please drop down, recommend it in the comment section. Cause I do feel like every girl needs a foam and I want a nice little foam just because I like different vehicles. I like creams, gels, and foams and whatever else other vehicle I don't know exists out there. But let me know because I think it's good to have one of each so that you can mix and match. So like I said, I was using the Verb one and at first it was cool, but after a while it seemed to stop working. I don't know. Maybe my hair adapted. I don't know. But if you guys have another foam that you could recommend, recommend. And again, another gel that gives me the wet all day long look, the way that braid glaze from Main Choice. Drop that down. Now, and one more question is an edge control because I have yet to find a good, good one. The one that I've been using is the Mayel Rosemary Mint one, but it's not great. I put it on and of course it looks cute immediately, but I sweat and it just lifts right away, right? So I need, even though I'm like three something, ABC, I don't know, y'all tell me. I know I'm three tight. I still need a strong edge control because I sweat a lot, you know what I'm saying? So I need something that's not gonna lift right away and that's not gonna crunch up and turn white. So if you got a good recommendation, let me know. The last one that I used that was amazing was the three clover one or the four clover one by Main Choice. That one was really good. It was like a green tube. But again, like I said, since Main Choice sold to another company and old girl don't really run it like that, I don't know what's going on with the brand, where to catch it, where to find it. You got to go online and look for stuff and I'm not doing all of that. So I need a good edge control. I need a good wet look all day long gel, which I have the braid glaze for. I just got to not be lazy and get it online. But other than that, these are my favorites right now mix and match y'all tell me what y'all do how y'all like it what y'all do all that oh and a foam and a foam that's what i asked for a foam anyway baddies that's it let me shorten this video because it's already really really long love y'all y'all let me know what y'all feel about these products in the comments bye